Hey guys, today I want to talk a little bit about the battery choice I've actually decided to go with for the Armour Craton and the Centon. Now, I actually had to order these in from hobbyking.com with the XT90 connector. We're going to do a little unboxing today, it's in this package here. And also I went for a new charging solution as well to uh, help me charge these packs up. So I've gone for the Overlander RC6 VSP. This is a 7 amp LiPo charging or fast charging uh, LiPo charger. It does uh, nickel metal hydrate, life batteries, lion or lithium ion batteries, um, others as well, PB charge, etc. Discharge. Um, but yeah, so this basically comes with, let me show you inside here. So the charging unit itself is quite easy to use, quite simple. Your mains goes in there, you select the program on the screen, you plug your charging lead in, and then you balance connector as well so you can balance the cells correctly. And yeah, it's quite a nice unit that, that's quite cool. Comes as a mains plug, as always. Uh, here in the UK, we have a different style of plug to the States, um, Australia, and Europe. Just... You also get the usual in the box, so obviously a load of T-plugs or Dean's connectors. So you can charge different things with crocodile clips on one end as well. Uh, allows you to charge your like, uh, batteries or receiver batteries as well, which is pretty cool. And also... Uh, they allow you to plug it into an actual battery, like a field battery, or um, I don't know, even a car battery, I suppose, if you wanted. Uh, and obviously, the crocodile clips on it as well. And then finally, I actually ordered myself a Traxxas TRX charging plug because, obviously, as you know, I use a lot of Traxxas RC equipment the Slashes, the Erevo, X Max, and I'm a big fan of their products anyway. Let's take a look at the box, take a look at the batteries I've chosen. I'll explain why I've picked them. Um, why I think they'll be ideal for these two trucks, for the Centon and the Craton. Let's have a look inside then. Let's slice and dice. It's quite a heavy box this. I'm hoping there's some good batteries inside. What do we got? Here they come. One. Two. <laughs> and there's also another goodie in here as well. I've got myself the charging cable. So the XT90 charging plug to 4mm banana clips. Okay. Battery number one. And battery number two so what are these that's the question it says graphene power on demand should we have a little look inside and see what's inside here so we've got some foam so what have we got in here oh that weighs a bit so, let's have a look inside this goodie bag, shall we? <laughs> oh, mama! Graphene, 6,000 milliamp power, 4S LiPo. Look at this. What a beast. 65C discharge. 14.8 volts with that lovely new connector on the end. <laughs> There's the balance connector to go into our new Overlander charger. This is an absolute animal. Look at this 4S pack, guys. Beautifully designed. Absolutely stunning. Look at the graphic on that. If that's 4S, what on earth in this box? Uh, I can't get it out. Uh, uh. Oh, here we go. The suspense is there. Let's take it out. Again, the nice new XT90 connector. Balance plug. <laughs> Beast mode activated. 6,000 milliamp power, 22.2 volt, 6S, 65C discharge. Turnergy batteries, guys. 
Look at the size of this pack. Jesus. That is going to cause some serious grief. Whoo! Serious beef, rather. Look at the size of these packs. Holy smokes. I can't get over how big these actually are. <sighs> yep, yeah, we're not going to have any trouble getting to 60 miles an hour when we uh, put the right gearing in these trucks. Jesus. That is outrageous. Yep, definitely happy with those packs. <laughs> 6S, 4S, XT90 charger cable. So, why these packs, I hear you ask? Now, Turnergy releases decent batteries anyway. The honest truth is, they're kind of new to the market, and they use some new technologies um, to do with how the battery stores its energy, how it discharges its energy. And, of course, it's a 65C discharge pack on both of them, the 4 and the 6, and also it's 130 bursts. So, that's a huge amount of energy to be able to release into these 6S systems that the Kraton has, the BLX system, and the BLX system in the Centon. So, I'm hoping that'll do it justice. So, that's them side by side, pretty much. Who wants to see them in the trucks? I do. Let's do this. The 6S pack is in here now. Holy smokes. Let's see what this is like then. Holy smokes. Six S is gonna kill this sent on. Here goes the four S pack. Oh mama. Things are gonna get very interesting soon with this guys. These packs are so big they don't actually fit in here. There's some little lugs you have to take out, but I've done that on the Centon, but not on this yet. But for now, you can kind of see and get the gist of just how big these packs are when they're sitting in the trucks themselves. Okay, so as you can see there, just about fits in. That uh, squeeze. Woo! That was a crack and a half. Six S power. Jesus Christ! Whoa, and he took my hand off. Jesus. <gasps> oh my goodness. That was scary power. And there's the 4S pack. Let's see how this performs. Yep, that's definitely a bit more manageable. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope that's shown you why I've picked these new Turnergy Graphene lithium polymer batteries for the Armour series, Centon and Kraton. Now, these set me back around £100 each, quite expensive, but I'm hoping they'll be worth it. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting these out there, guys, and there'll be some bashing videos to follow. Obviously, first run videos, 4 and 6S comparisons on both of them, etc., but for now, thanks for watching. Take care. Please like, subscribe, share the videos around, and then I'll catch you next time some more, more unboxing fun.